In today's video, I'm going to highlight the Ryukyuan people of Japan, or commonly known as Okinawans, from the island Okinawa off the southern tip of Japan. This people group numbers over a little over 1 million in population, not even 1% of which is evangelical according to the Joshua Project. When you picture a random person from Japan, the image in your head is probably of someone from Tokyo, or at least the main island where everyone looks more or less the same ethnically. In Okinawa, however, the people are quite different. They're owned by Japan, but have historically been alone as an island, and their people and customs more closely resemble something of a generic Pacific Islander as opposed to our typical Japanese prototype. I was friends with a girl from Okinawa, and she said that she is seen and treated as a foreigner in her own country because she looks that different, like Moana, she says, from the Disney movie. So they have a strong and proud identity in their island culture, but that also means they hold on to their native religion, where women are the leaders of their home and religion. As I stated earlier, they are not 1% evangelical, but there is a 2% Catholic influence in that area because the Jesuit order from Portugal was able to introduce themselves to the Japanese in the early 1600s. It is still mostly Catholics in that region of Japan, but after World War II, we set up military bases after taking Okinawa. Many Christian schools were founded there, but today are only nominally and historically Christian. Just like the rest of the country, they are in desperate spiritual need and need more missionaries to preach the gospel to them. They need men and women brave enough to face the graveyard of missions that Japan is famously nicknamed because of all the missionaries who have given up in the past. My scripture verse for these people is Isaiah 24:15, which says, Therefore in the east give glory to the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord, the God of Israel, in the islands of the sea. In context, this verse is not referring to Japan, but it nonetheless applies that all the east and all the islands of the sea must come to praise the Lord, including Okinawa, Japan. Pray that these people would find their identity in Jesus Christ rather than in their island. Pray that they can embrace him even through the strict familial and cultural settings they find themselves in. Pray that they can receive any outside help necessary in such a scary place. Pray that they will become aware of their sin and need for forgiveness from God and that they will know where they can seek him out.